Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how you can paint your hobgrot skin. I'm going to show you step by step how you can achieve hobgrot skin very similar to the way Games Workshop paints theirs. I'll list the paints I use in the description and you can even check out what hobby supplies I regularly use from Amazon. And if you want to get these yourself you can use the affiliate links I provide which will massively support what I do. And if you follow me on Instagram you'll be able to get my guides to my videos so you have them whenever you need them. If you enjoy my content, let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment, it really helps to grow the channel. So now that I've finished putting these together, I'll show you how you can paint the skin. I'll start by undercoating the miniature with Zandri Dust Spray. This is going to really help with painting the skin of the hobgrots. And the best place to start is to paint all the eyes, teeth and claws. And then give these details a wash of normal oil. Now the wash is dried, we can get started with the skin. Start by using Hobgrot Hide to layer up from the Zandri Dust, only picking out the more raised detail of the skin and leaving the Zandri Dust still showing in the recesses. Remember, it's always a good idea to thin your paints first and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. It's also better to paint in multiple thin layers to prevent losing any detail and you can work up to a nice solid colour which you can then work from. I want to start giving the skin some definition. I start by thinning down some Xerophon Sapia with an equal amount of Lamy Medium. This is going to weaken the strength of the wash so it doesn't dull the colour I've already painted. Apply this evenly over the skin, making sure it doesn't pull too much where you don't want it to. And once that's dried, I'm going to continue to create more definition by using Xerophon Sapia just as it is and pick out the deeper recesses of the skin. I'm now going to lay back up and neaten up using Hobgrot Hide. Before I move on to highlighting, I'm going to create some interest by using a glaze on some of the Hobgrot's features. To make the glaze, I thin down some Cadian Flesh Tone with some water. And I use a glaze to pick out the nose, lower lip, ears, veins and any scars that you can see. You want to remember this isn't a wash, just build the colour up slowly until you're happy with it. I can now finish the skin with a highlight. When it comes to highlighting, I don't tend to add as much water as I usually do and I like to remove some of the paint on some kitchen paper as well to remove excess paint to give me more control and to prevent thick blobby lines. I'm using Eusebti Bone for the skin highlight and I paint thin lines where I think it will help bring out the detail of muscles, scars and the face. And while you're highlighting the skin, go ahead and use some Dawnstone to highlight the teeth and claws. With that done, the skin is finished and you can go away and paint all the hobgrots you've ever wanted to paint. Make sure to check out how I paint the Cruel Boys where I'll show you how you can paint Oryx skin three different ways. Thank you for watching, if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to like the video and to let me know in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out on future tutorials on the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.